It's so cold right now. It's like, it doesn't make sense. All right, I am back from my one class of the day. <laughs> I usually have two classes on Tuesday, Thursday, but my second class, um, I didn't have to come in today. So it's about to be noon and I'm already done. So what I'm gonna do today, today's gonna be more of a self care maintenance type of day um but before i start doing that i'm gonna go ahead and edit my other two videos that i've already filmed i filmed a my november wrap-up and um christmas wreck ebook video so i'm gonna go ahead and edit those and then we will get into the self-care but yeah it's gonna be a pretty boring day until self-care I do this. I do this. I do this. Me. Also me. No, I do it. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to Dollar Tree, so I can see if there's any like maybe um some little Christmas decor I could get that's not that big, or even Christmas decor that I could put in my car. Because I figured I could decorate my car and it wouldn't be that big of a deal um, with moving and everything. And I also want to just see if there's any like random like self care product. Like I just want to see what they got. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go there. Also, did I tell y'all I got this sweater yesterday if you saw the vlog. And tell me why I went to bed in it. I woke up in a sweat. My guy, I woke up in a literal sweat and I had to change and put on a t shirt because I was like dying. And as you can see, my hair is dyed. And I don't know if you could tell on the camera, <laughs> but I got some of my dye on the pillowcase from my sweat. So, isn't that fun for me? Is this forehead of security? What? But, anyways, let's go to Dollar Tree. Okay, why do I want this? I don't even know what it's for. For once in case that thing sucks so shower caps this is a self-care type of trip so i got some facial mist uh, kind of uh, kind of scared yeah, to like issue. yeah so i'm kind of scared to like put this on my face since the facial mist so you like keep it on your face but also it's winter time and i just need extra moisture then i have a little mask that i am gonna do after i shave my face and I just got a little eye thingy. Mm -hmm. Rocks. Oh, I had to assemble it. Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's fine with me. I probably had to put water in, though. Here it is. She's pretty tiny. Oh, there's a mirror. Let's see. Me filming. That's awkward. <laughs> Can you see Hannah somehow? Can I? There she is. Yeah. That's creepy. I didn't see your face. It's so <laughs> creepy. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, we'll figure that out later. But, the grand finale. Are you ready for this? It's for Momo. <gasps> I am pretty sure she could have fit in a medium, but I was scared it wouldn't fit. I got her at large. <laughs> there was this one and an elf one. I don't know if her little arms are good. <laughs> She needs like a triple X. <laughs> Think skinny dogs. I got Think it. We kind of got it. We're missing an arm. <laughs> Come 
<laughs> You're being so good. You deserve a treat. After I think this. she just realizes how trapped she is. <laughs> She's like, I can't do anything. <laughs> The, the mean girls. Was I supposed to put it the other way? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was supposed to put it the other way. <gasps> I was supposed to put it the other way, yeah? Because you what can't you see mean? the design. Oh, uh, with that on the back? Right? I just love how she hasn't even made a sound though. Like she's just accepted no, it. She's Mariah Carey. You Mariah? What I want for Christmas is you. Help me! Help me! <laughs> Why is she so okay with this? I don't understand. I thought she was gonna be meowing all over the place. She looks like she has a lamp. She's like, I'm depressed. I'm going to my room. <laughs> For the rest of your life. Oh, okay. It's like a normal That's shirt. That was like the easiest thing ever. There you go. Yay. You're free. How is this a large? For who? <laughs> <laughs> For who? But yeah, I'm almost skinny. Well, she's not skinny, but she's definitely not like she's a, a large. Bitch. She like didn't care at all during that entire encounter. Should I try again and put it on the correct side? She's cleaning her toes. I'll give you like a two minute intermission and then we'll come back. You like your treat? Can I put it on you again? <laughs> Since I gave you a treat. She's really like walking around like she's like a lion or something, <laughs> ready to like devour somebody. <laughs> what if I just leave her like that and don't tell Anna? <laughs> and Anna just comes in and just sees her cat just in a Santa suit. We're both gone. Yeah, we both leave and just like leave Momo to her devices. <laughs> what then? Plops down. <laughs> Is that you in your door? I'm gonna have to edit you out of all the background ones. <laughs> she won't move. <laughs> like imagine the people seeing her just <laughs> like walking by and they just see her <laughs> in her little suit. <laughs> we don't have a Christmas tree, but we got a Christmas cat, guys. <laughs> Stopped by and looked at Momo like, <gasps> <laughs> as she should. I love you. You're gonna bring so much joy in your <laughs> misery. <laughs> <laughs> to the outside world. Oh, is that a Momo? I think it is. <laughs> that was so extra of me. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's pretend I'm a random person <laughs> and see what they see. Try and get out. You ready to get out? Okay. I gave her like three treats. Hello. I'm gonna get it off. It's okay. Hello. I'm taking it off. You're okay. All done. You're free. Grudge time commence. She said, don't ever do that again to me. It's okay. It was only a dollar, so I'll never do it to you again. <laughs> now, the question is if your mom will do it to you again. <laughs> so she works. Um, don't really like the sound it makes since it doesn't touch the mirror like this, like how I thought it would. Um, it kind of just sounds like someone's being. 
just the whole time. But it's kind of cute or whatever. So, yeah. But now we're going to get into the self-care portion of this vlog. And first we're going to start by repainting our toes. Not going to show you that for free though. So, yeah. But... I haven't painted my toes in like a month and a half, so it's about time so <laughs> to do that. Don't know if I'll paint my nails or not. I kind of like them when they're like bare, so we'll see how I feel. But on the agenda, we are going to do our nails. We're going to deep condition our hair and prep it for straightening. I'll do that in a separate video, though, um, where I straighten my hair. So, yeah, we're going to paint our nails. We're going to deep condition and prep our hair to straighten it we're going to also wax our armpits haven't waxed my armpits since like november like that first week in november so it's been a hot second so we're gonna do that then we'll shave our face and do some skincare-esque things and that will be the self-care segment of this vlog um i also originally was gonna like work out but I don't have the mental capacity to do that right now. I haven't worked out in so long, and no, I just don't want to. All right, I've had my hair mask in for, I don't even know how long at this point because I decided to cook, but I had this hair mask in, I ran out after this, so I'm gonna have to get more. And then I also added the biotin oil that I got from Burlington um, in the last vlog. Um, I didn't realize I used so much of it, probably because I was doing it on dry hair and I'm just like kind of drenching it in there um, just to really moisturize it. But since I am straightening my hair after this, I will like probably shampoo quite a lot to make sure I don't end up like weighing my hair down profusely, which is one of the reasons why I did the mask before shampooing and stuff like that. All right, I just changed shirts because we're gonna do some armpit prep before I uh, wax my armpits and stuff. So I actually have a pretty dark underarms. So um, these steps I'm about to do, you don't necessarily need to do if you have um, light underarms. And if you have dark underarms, you don't have to do this either. I've just been like born with them pretty much. <laughs> and so at this point, at 23 years old, I have learned to just deal with it. I don't really care anymore. When I was a teenager, I would never show my underarms because how, of how dark they were. But now it's kind of just like whatever it is what it is but i do like to like keep up with them still and like maintain them because if i don't do this then they get darker and then you know if it gets darker then i'll get insecure about it again and blah 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 you know like right now i'm at a place where it's like it is what it is you know the i actually use this toning solution by um the ordinary um i use this on my face too not every day but i also use it on my underarms not every day also um, so if you ended up buying that toner and you find that it's too harsh for your face, maybe try using it on your armpits if you have dark armpits. Um, I saw someone on TikTok actually use it on their hair because they have like dandruff or whatever. They only leave it in for like five minutes and then shampoo. So like there's other things you could do with that toner, um, if it doesn't work for you with your face. Um, but yeah, I am kind of slacking with the routine of doing this. I usually would do it three times a week because I would do it on my face three times a week. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm mainly doing it to get rid of the deodorant that is there because then I am going to do another ordinary product and it is their peeling solution. So their, um, chemical exfoliating, um, face wash whatever <laughs> i'm actually going to put on my underarms as well like five minutes before i hop in the shower and i feel like this really does help as well now i have pretty like resilient skin or tough skin i'd say so if you have sensitive skin even in your underarms i am not too sure if doing those two products back to back would be the most beneficial for you um but for me it's completely fine 
but yeah so i just leave this on my armpits for like five minutes and then i'll jump in the shower and rinse it off and then wax so i usually do this like once a week if i remember like i said i am slacking when it comes to like any type of maintenance <laughs> currently so pretty much whenever i do it on my face i try to do it on my armpits as well um so i usually try to do said things before i hop in the shower if it's colder outside and like drier the weather's dry i'll just go in with the toner instead of the um the exfoliant um i'm not gonna do both i don't think i've done both on my face back to back i don't think i could totally be wrong but i don't know while i wait for those like five minutes i'm gonna put some heat to my head with my little travel size <laughs> blow dryer it's the only blow dryer i have this was in a like a beauty box subscription thing i think it was like boxy charm or something i don't know um and it i don't really blow dry my hair really ever unless i'm about to straighten it so why not just keep this so yeah i'm gonna just put some heat to my head for like five minutes while i wait and then just hop in the shower and i'll see you in a little bit all right we are out of the shower as you can see and i'm gonna go ahead and do the face shaving stuff first so this would be best if i had a facial oil or like aloe vera um gel but i don't so i'm just gonna use some cetaphil um moisturizer this is what i normally use i also used the cetaphil um bar soap on my face in the shower so that's what i washed my face with but i'm gonna put a generous amount because i want there to be some slip with my face you know you don't want to just shave it dry i'm also using a facial razor by the way just gonna do that coat my face she feels very nice already and i probably don't have that much on my face because i did shave it probably like two weeks ago so i probably don't have too much there there's not gonna be that much of a payoff i guess you could say so I'm going to use this little facial razor. <laughs> um, I think I just got this from like Ross, to be honest, or something like that. Um, I don't even know what the brand is. Is it um, Kai? I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I'm going to have a cotton pad that has some hydrogen peroxide on it to clean the razor afterwards. can just do subtle strokes there's some right there i also use this on my eyebrows so i've never gotten them threaded or waxed or anything like that also i'm gonna brush them out real quick so i can get a better idea of what i don't want to be there So I've never messed up my eyebrows while doing this, but I have um, cut off my lashes from doing this, especially when I do it on this side, because it's a little bit more awkward um, to do, because my right hand is my dominant hand and everything. I think I was just like going like this and then just choop, and I just like sliced up some of them. <laughs> so I can understand why some people probably wouldn't want to do this, but... I have learned from that and I'm just a lot more cautious when I do it right here. So these are my eyebrows, they're probably not that symmetrical, but I'm just trying to make them not look messy. I'm pretty sure this one is shorter than this one, but <laughs> other than that, I can just draw that on, so it's fine. This is what the cotton pad looks like now. So even though it's been like only two weeks, there's still quite a lot. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this little mask. Oops. Oops. You're a lot more watery than I was expecting. And I think while this mask is on, we can go ahead 
and wax the armpits. So I'm kind of basic and I just like to use these little strips. I do have a matte, uh, wax melter, but I don't have the wax beads and I haven't got taken the time to like buy them. So we're just gonna do these strips. I believe my hair grows down, downward. Yeah, after a while, then I'll just, one, two. Oop, I missed it. Oof, there we go. So I definitely still have some hair there. Um, I guess I will do it the other way. I like to mess around with it sometimes um, and just see which way I wanna do it or whatever. Sometimes I'll cut them in half and like do them in sections too. Um, sometimes that helps also, especially in the beginning if you're a beginner. There we go. There's the rest. She is clean. I think I just need to like maybe tweeze that one. But yeah, that's what my armpits look like without the hair. They're getting lighter. Last of my armpits is a pretty quick process for me, at least. Ooh, it's always harder to do this one with my not dominant hand. I'm gonna go the opposite way this time. I like to just switch it up because I feel like some of my hair goes in both directions. So I just do either or really Whew. there she is there she is i'm just gonna use the little oil packet that it comes with to clean up the armpits So now I'll wash my hands and then just rinse this off. My skin feels so nice. So then I just use niacinamide um, by The Ordinary. Um, I'll either use this or a vitamin C serum. I saw somewhere that you shouldn't like mix the two into your routine. So I do one or the other. I don't do them at the same time. And also I don't know if that's true, <laughs> but you know, I just, blindly follow stuff and it is what it is and then i just go in with that cetaphil lotion that's pretty much my skincare routine also oh i forgot to use the face mist i like to use the face mist before i put on any of my products since it's like the thinnest thing you know it makes the most sense to put it on in the beginning but i forgot about it so yeah and it's more about the vibes it's not really gonna do anything i don't think and then here's the eye masks from dollar tree yeah we're just gonna let the hair air dry and do our thing hey guys i just filmed straightening my hair i am obsessed with the straight hair and the um dyed magenta burgundy whatever you want to call this <laughs> color i love it um that video will be posted kind of at random that one is kind of a um when i need to post something but i don't have the time to post something type of video so uh, i'm sure it will happen at some point so um it will be posted at some point during vlogmas but it is now 9 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know down in the comments um, what else you'd like to see for Vlogmas. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.